Now we're going to be looking for the SVC view. And again, our aortic valve is going to be key in a landmark to find the SVC. I'm at approximately 20 to 30 centimeters, and usually that's where we can find the aortic valve. As I manipulate my probe here, you can see the aortic valve coming into play. And again, I made a minor adjustment there, again, by taking my hand that's on the, the handle, as well as my right hand that's on the probe, and rotating right or left, or clockwise or counterclockwise, until I bring the aortic valve into the middle of the field. Now that I've done that, I want to withdraw a little bit more until I get into the ascending aorta, which will put me in good alignment to start looking, looking for my SVC. So I'm withdrawing now, and you can see that ascending aorta becoming more round and cross-sectional area. And I can start to see the SVC coming into play, but it's not in the center of the field. So again, I'm going to rotate clockwise here and bring that SVC into the middle of the field. And now you can see a nice round structure, the SVC, with a, a white dot, if you will, or artifact in the SVC, and that's our central line. Now that I have it in good position, I've got a good view of the SVC. It's in the middle of the screen. I'm going to optimize again by hitting the optimization button that will change my gain and, and give me the best picture. I can also electronically change the position of the image if, if it's to one side or the other on the screen. Again, I can rotate it by tapping the side of the screen and a blue arrow comes up and I can tap that blue arrow and swing the image. I can also tap it to the other side and bring it to the other side to swing the image back to the midline as well. So I have two ways of doing that. I can do it with my probe my, with my right hand and my handle with the left hand and rotate clockwise or counterclockwise or I can do it electronically. Now that I have good position here with the SVC and the central line in the middle of the SVC, I'm going to depress the acquisition button on the handle, which will give me a, a loop to save to my disk. Again, we want to do that at least two or three times. I'm going to uh, acquire the image again to make sure that I get a good run and uh, really have choices uh, when I look back through the loops, I can pick the best loop.